Hey what's up guys welcome back in this video we will write a program to move from the menu scene to the main scene that is when you click on this play button the game will move from the menu scene to the main scene okay so before writing the code the first thing that I'll do is I'll go in file I'll click on build settings and I'll add the menu scene inside the build settings. So I'll just drag the menu scene over here. Next, as you can see, the menu scene has an index of two, which is incorrect because the menu scene should basically appear at the start of your game. So the next thing that I'll do is I'll drag the menu scene on top. Okay, I'll bring the main scene down. So guys, as you can see, the menu scene now has an index of zero, main scene, the index of one and the end scene, the index of two. Okay. So once this is done, next I'll close the build settings. After that, I'll go in scripts and I will write a new script to move from menu scene to the main scene. So I'll right click over here. I'll click on create. I'll click on C sharp script and I'll give the script a name of menu script next I'll open the script now the reason why I've given this script a name of menu script is because we are only going to use one script inside our menu scene okay and the purpose of that script is to move from the menu scene to the main scene now inside the menu script since we want to write the code to move from the menu scene to the main scene so first I'll add the scene management namespace so I'll write using unity engine dot scene management after this I won't be writing any code inside the void start and the void update but instead I'll create a new function of my own so I'll write over here public void change scene okay I'll open and close curly brackets and inside this function, I will write down scene manager dot load scene. And inside this round bracket, I will now write down the scene name. And, and the scene name is main scene. Okay, let me just check the spelling. So if I go in scene, you can see the scene name is main scene with the M and S capital. Now, once I'm done with this, I'll save this program first. After this, I'll go inside the hierarchy and then I'm going to create an empty game object. I'll give this game object a name of change scene. Okay, I guess I made a mistake in the spelling. So next I'll go in scripts and after this I'll attach the menu script to the change scene. So I'll drag the menu script and I'll attach it to the chain scene. So now you can see over here, if I click on the chain scene, a menu script is attached to it. Next, I'll open the canvas and after this, I'll click on the button component. Okay. Now, if you look at the inspector panel of the button, then you can see over here at the bottom, we have this property called as on click. This on click property is called when the button is clicked. So using the on click property, we can define what the button should do when it is clicked and when the button is clicked we want to basically move from the menu scene to the main scene now currently as you can see this list is empty so over here i'll first click on this plus sign now after clicking on the plus sign you can see over here we need to put an object inside this so the object that we will put over here is nothing but the chain scene empty game object so i'll drag the chain scene empty game object over here okay and the reason why i've dragged the chain scene empty game object is because we have basically attached a script called as menu script to the chain scene game object and as you can see over here inside the menu script we have a method called as chain scene okay so we basically have to call that method when the button is clicked so I'll click on this function and you can see over here the menu script is being shown. And if I open the menu script, you can see over here inside the menu script, we have this function called as chain scene. Okay, so I'll select the chain scene function. And if you guys remember, 
it is inside the change scene function we have written the program to load the scene and the scene that we will load is nothing but the main scene so i'll minimize this next i'll click on play and let's see if we are able to move to the main level or not so if you look over here my game is started next if i click on the play button as you can see i am able to move to the next level so guys that's it from this video i hope from this video you would have understood how to write the program to move from one level to another level on a button click i hope you would have liked this video this was a free video from my virtual reality course which is available on udemy this course is currently priced at $200 but you can get it at a discounted price of just $10 by clicking on the link in the description so if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos like these thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video